All right, The Penguin, episode four. Here are my thoughts, but first things first, spoiler alert. So if you haven't watched the episode yet and you're particularly sensitive to spoilers, I suggest you go watch the episode first and then you can enjoy this review. If you want my non-spoiler hot take, it's to go watch the show. I could not recommend it enough. All right, so I believe we're at the halfway point of this show. I think there's gonna be eight episodes and yeah, this is episode four. This episode was mainly focused on Sophia Falcone. We got a flashback to her time in Arkham and the circumstances that brought her to that point. Point that that made her the hangman in Arkham. We find out about the circumstances that the last episode landed on where Victor came to the Penguin's rescue right as he was being held up with Sophia. And it turns out that Sal Maroney's wife is the one that's holding them up. She pretty much reveals the whole arrangement that the Penguin has had with her husband behind Sophia's back. So now she knows. And she also finds out that he is the one who killed her brother. By the way, I hope you're enjoying this review so far. And if you like the video, don't forget to like the video. And if you enjoy a channel that's run by a fan who makes videos for fans talking about Marvel, DC, Star Wars, or similar pop culture, this might be the channel to subscribe to. We get a flashback to Sophia and her life before she ended up in Arkham. She had the trajectory of replacing Carmine after he stepped down, but there is this one thing that kind of keeps her up at night, and it's the circumstances in which her mother passed away. She kind of suspects that her father was behind it, so she does a little bit of digging. And she kind of flies a little bit too close to the sun because her driver, the Penguin, who as we know has his own aspirations, ends up ratting her out for doing this investigation behind Carmine's back, and that is the reason why she ends up in Arkham. It's literally because Carmine Falcone is covering his own ass and does not want it to get out that he is the one who killed his own wife. So he goes ahead and just sentences his daughter to a mental institution where she gets no trial and you pretty much see the mistreatment of her, how a bunch of Carmine Falcone's crimes end up getting pinned on her and that's why she's considered the hangman. You also see this interesting relationship she has with this other inmate called Magpie. She's actually a Batman villain, a villain that I don't know too much about. She doesn't really last too long, but hey, it was kind of cool that she's in there. It adds to the Batman universe to see other villains in Arkham. This episode had so much emotion. You know, you really see the turmoil that Sophia goes through, the struggle, and how it really just messes her up mentally. You also see the relationship that she had with Alberto, how he visited her in Arkham, as she stated earlier in the series, and the relationship, why he meant so much to her. He always was in her corner. So it makes a lot more sense why she's so concerned with how he died. Which brings us to present day, where right after the the events of the beginning of the episode transpired, she gets her ultimate revenge by gassing the entire family. I mean, she rescues, I believe, her niece or her, one of one of the young girls in her family. I guess she spares her because, you know, she has a good relationship with her, but she pretty much gasses everyone except for Johnny Vitti, who he wakes up and she's got a gun pointed at him. So I guess we will see next episode what she wants to do with him. But man, this was such a great episode. It gave so much depth to the character of Sophia Falcone, who I guess you could say up until now has been the antagonist of the show, if you could really call her that. It's not like the Penguin's really a good person either, but you got a little bit of background about him. You got a ton of background about Sophia, what motivates her, what led her to this moment. And she became a much more compelling character, but not just that, the first couple minutes of this show builds up anticipation for the next episode because the penguin has been caught you know he what is he gonna do now clearly he, he has to deal with the Maronis now and he's got to deal with Sophia who pretty much just cleared a way to the top of the Falcone family in this episode so I mean this show is stellar writing honestly and and it's very surprising I, I say it every episode I really was not expecting this level of a show from essentially a spin-off of the Batman. You know, I, I was worried it was gonna be kind of a cash-in and it was gonna be a show that just lacked, you know, I just did not expect this level of depth. This show has some bits of like Breaking Bad to it. It has some bits of succession to it. It is well worth your time. I'm gonna give this episode a five out of five. I mean, so far every episode has been a five out of five and I don't just give those out. I'm really looking forward to seeing if they stick the landing. Hopefully the second half is just as good as the first half. Anyways, let me know down in the comments. What did you think of episode four? Are you enjoying this show so far as much as I am? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.